Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alex from alexmaydrums.com and today I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment with a single ply coated head on my snare drum to see how well it holds up in the context of a heavier rock mix. So if you watched my previous video, you'll see that I went through a few different snare drum heads that I had lying around my studio that I've used in the past. And I just quickly went through those on my snare drum to find out what characteristics I liked in each one of those in an effort to find out the next snare drum head that I wanted to go with. And I actually found that I gravitated a bit more towards just a single ply coated head. So there's a trend in modern rock music right now to be using really low tuned, deep and dead sounding snare drums, which sound really cool in a lot of styles of music. Um, that being said, I don't really like the responsiveness that I was getting out of different tuning techniques like that. So I tend to prefer a little tighter tuning and a more open sounding head. So with that, I wanted to see how well I could get this to sit in a heavier rock mix and not sound like a piccolo snare or something that you would hear and find that it's completely out of place in the mix. So what I'm gonna do with this is play a little bit on a track that I've been working on and really answer the question of whether or not this can hold up in a rock mix. Now, I already kind of know the answer to this, but with social media nowadays, it's definitely easy to be pulled towards one direction or the other, especially when you see a lot of people using a particular product or a particular tuning style. So a lot of this is just an experiment for my own sanity to just really hear how this sounds behind the kit. So I'm gonna pull up a track and play along with this and do a couple different variations on the snare drum, and then we're gonna hear what it sounds like. So listening back to those recordings, hopefully you can agree that none of those sounded completely out of place or just wildly unusable in the context of that mix. So my initial reservation in putting this head on, as dumb as this may sound, was that, oh, a single ply snare drum head is never going to hold up in the context of modern rock mix. So therefore, even though I really like playing on it, it's not just gonna be a viable option. Now that's not true, but the reason that that thought popped into my head is because if you're anything like me and you follow any kind of drum content on social media, you've probably seen a lot of ads for, I think there's one, it's like dead sounding drums or something like that, a dead sounding drum sample library. And that's really cool. That fits with a lot of styles of music, uh, particularly in a lot of the kind of vintage rock resurgence that we're seeing nowadays. What this ultimately comes down to at the end of the day is your personal preference or your drummer's personal preference, how it reinforces or hinders their playing style, and what type of sound you're going for in the final mix. I have a maple snare drum that I really love a two-ply head on because it deadens it out a little bit more and it still gives it that good crack without being too ringy. But since this is a brass snare drum, I really liked having a little bit extra overtones on it and a little more open sound to it. So I suppose the moral of the story is basically, don't let yourself be persuaded so much by what you see other people using. Everybody has their own individual playing style and their own personal preferences, and it's up to you to decide what that means for you. For me, I still feel like I have a lot more experimenting to do on this, but I'm leaning more towards the one ply head territory now but that's all super dependent on your playing style and the gear that you're using. So please let me know in the comments what type of snare drum head you're using and which ones you may have used in the past to better or worse results. I'd definitely love to hear about it. In the meantime, I'm still gonna do a little bit more experimenting with this drum and this drum head before I go on to the next drum head and see what that sounds like. So I hope you tune in next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.